PBS now, PBS now on and off. And uh, we are a sort of like a Finnish, Vietnamese, Japanese, Polish startup kind of thing. And uh, and uh, everybody's, you know, not everybody's, like most people have their day jobs and are investing a bit of time. Some people working full time. And this this idea is a mobile game. And now we have a Android build of it. You know, if you want to test it out, you've got an Android phone. And you can, I can give you a URL and you can download it and you can try it out. And the, the idea is, is that producing a game that, that uh, challenges lazy people to move, <laughs> lazy people like myself. <laughs> so, you know, we were thinking of something like, there's a lot of sports and health apps. That's like a big trend now. So that's, that's a good market. That's where a lot of things are happening. And there you run, you know, sports trackers, run keepers, snipe fuels, there's all that stuff. But, and that, that part of the market is really well covered, but what we are looking into is the people who actually can't, you know, can't keep to a, like a gym program, uh, a lazy, lack motivation to go out and move. And uh, we are working on this game that makes, you know, just walking outside an adventure. So the, the group is from like street art, live action role playing, that kind of background. So we're just mashing all those ideas and um, trying to produce a game that's like really, really simple and, uh, and really, really fun. You know, it's, it's a social game, so it encourages people to move and move together. So I'm going to show you a little video. It's a bit dated. I'm a bit embarrassed to show it. <laughs> but let's do it anyway. So there is no sound amplification. Oops. So I'm going to narrate on top. Did anybody hear anything? Yeah. Oh, This is our lives. <laughs> School, work, and this is this is how people tend to move. You know, we all take the same routes, the same time. Yeah. I just kill the sound because it's quite horrible. So the idea of the game is like you actually have to get out and move, and it, it sort of uh, the gameplay. You know, you you walk around an area. And that became your hood. And people are in these clans, groups of players, and they want to show, like, well, who's the king of rock and shit? <laughs> and you just look on the phone and say, like, holy shit, those guys got a lot of hood. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the thing is, like, the more people you have to walk with you, you know, we call the walk a run, so the more powerful the area that you take over becomes. And uh, there's a lot of stuff in the game that you know, like at least in, in the Western country, it's a bit odd just to call up your, your mate and say, like, should we go for a little walk? Because <laughs> you really don't do that. So we are sort of gamifying that, that it's, a, it's a different kind of concept. You know, basically, you know you're going for a walk, but, but you know, you're, you're playing the game, so it makes it softer. And, and many people have, you know, we've been testing with groups and responded favorably to that kind of idea. And uh, the sort of the point is, you know, like move around, go somewhere you haven't been before. You know, you can take pictures, share on the Facebook, social media, whatever, <laughs> and and then you come back to the same location. And this is sort of the uh, um, sort of the uh, in investor angle business. Uh, there's many ways to use the app. Hang on. I'm, Trying to get back to this. Right. So, so yeah. So basically, it's uh, I got the build here. You can have it if you want it. And basically, you just turn on the app. I hope it doesn't crash now. Don't do it to me, baby. Okay. That was <laughs> checking update. Good. So I'm sorry I can't put put it on the big screen, but just log in. And. It will show you the, the map of the locality. If you want to take a look at the screen later, you know, please come, come take a look. 
So it Can shows a map of, of Kobe. It shows there's an area that I've taken over with my clan, that's green area. And other clan areas are, are gray. So you know, like, okay, that's where I want to go next because, you know, there's a bit of an in your face attitude with the game. Yeah? So it's, okay, <laughs> we've been trespassing your hood. And as you have done that, you know, they get notified, like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, excuse me my language, but that, that's, that's basically the, the idea. And, can, you, uh, can you, like, is there a limit to how big the surface can be? Uh, or can you like go around Japan and just like circle the whole of Japan in one? Oh, I, mean, I mean, that would be a long session. I would uh -huh. think. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so, so instead of like the sports games and sports trackers, you know, they uh, we we want people to go slow and observe. So you, the slower you go, the stronger is your takeover. Mm. There's all these oh, factors. Okay. So you just walk and chill out and see something and experience something and feel something. And, and that, that's the point. So we are limiting, like, you know, the droid tells us, like, is this guy doing what? Mm. So if it, if it, you know. If you go too fast, it knows you're on a train, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it, 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 and it tells you when you're on a train, you're on a vehicle, you know, you can read all that kind of stuff. And then there's our special source to analyze the, the data. And the way we want people to use this game is, like, you know, the problem with with these days we got these very convenient things with all the notifications and phone calls. So this game is best played in airplane mode. Mm -hmm. So you know, you, you turn on airplane, you put it in your pocket. Nobody's gonna bother you for the duration of the run, you know, one hour, two hour. You know, how how long are you gonna go? So and and you know, we <laughs> we've been testing, you know, it's like eat your own dog food. So that's what we've been doing. And don't see much effect to Japanese food is <laughs> Too good. Too good. <laughs> but um, today I, I clocked like, I think it's 203 kilometers this year mm. of play testing. So I, I tend to walk with this like, maybe like five kilometers every day. And it's fun, you know, it's, it's really still kind of basic. But looking like, okay, I haven't been there, I'm going from here. So, you know, it's, it's kind of thing that you have to actually try out and then you understand, like, hey, okay, this is what it is. So, yeah, beta. So I think we we are looking into releasing it maybe after one or two months, depending. So this is this is moving on. And, you know, I'm, I'm hearing. Uh, I was I lived in Japan for a long time. Then I went back home and started this project. And came back for business and talking to all these Japanese publishers and sponsors and things like that. So it's business, business, business. And trying to code, and people tell me like you should stop coding, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just focus on that. But the other guys go, I said that's unfair. <laughs> you, know, you know, coding is fun. So, so you know, it's a, it's this is kind of a life hack kind of game. So it's there in the internet, foodowner.com, and if you need to build, you know, Android phone, please approach me, and uh, you know, I hope to if you have some questions, you know. Please, please ask anything. All right. Is that less a question? Yep. And more like a statement or a suggestion or a funny thing. There is something called Kai Hogyo, which is running monks. Okay. Marathon monks. They have a training that they have to, to do like 30 kilometers walking per day their first year. Goes up to 84. Four kilometers per day. That, that's like Whoa. walking the whole day, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But did you did you like think of a marketing that put them in a pocket for monkers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, that never occurred to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I make a note for myself. <laughs> monks. The walking monks. They 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 yeah. If they have to walk eighty-four kilometers a day, they might actually you know. Yeah, yeah, they're going to get some big takeover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with these guys, totally. Yeah, yeah. But aren't that's they that's supposed that's to have a vow of poverty so they wouldn't have smartphones? Yeah, that's why you provided to them. They don't have it. They just Drop the smartphone with the app already installed in their box. Yeah, you, you, just, yeah, you just have to make a network of people that provide battery for this. <laughs> 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 we could find a sponsor to provide those guys with 
mobile phones, you know, it's just the battery life, that's a bit of a concern. <laughs> you know, some solar panels. <laughs> no way, no way. So I, I think, you know, if you think about it a little, there's many kind of activities, you know, there's marathons, there's, you know, pre people taking their private hikes, there's so many avenues that, you know, we can, we can do. And uh, we, we play testing in Kyoto, I think it's the Monday, and it's starting the Golden Week. We'll have a group play test, everybody is welcome, you just need the Android phone in a few hours. And uh, we have a guy called Rodi, who's, who's, uh, who's sort of uh, trying to take us to see something interesting in Kyoto, something that you would normally pass by. And the sessions we've done so far with people have been a lot of fun, so I think you get 10 people walking, and I see other people like, what's going on? <laughs> and you get a nice group dynamic going, you know, like, especially when you have people who haven't really met before, and they just come, and you just walk 15, 20 minutes, and then people start talking. I, I think that's Finland. I think in, in California it would be a little bit different. <laughs> but, you know, you know like people, people start talking with each other and, and sharing, and uh, I guess that's the, uh, that's the goal with this kind of game, it, it's very social and it's something that people will have happy memories playing and uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the end. Unless you find the other rival game and then violence happens, get out of my hood. Well, I, I think, <coughs> um, I actually do know a, a lawyer and, and he told me like, put the disclaimer there, like, <laughs> don't, don't do this and don't do that and we strongly discourage from this and that. Yeah, it's I mean, like, it, it's a game, I, I don't know, uh, that, that's, I think it's unlikely. I mean, it's, it's like a digital layer of the, uh, mm. yeah, straight mm. out of Compton. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I've, I've been driving my car there once, and I wanted to lock my own. So, right. so is it only on the app, or can spectators watch on the website to see who's capturing what? Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, the thing is, like, because we want to keep this, like, uh, in a way, like, you know, nobody wants you follow where you are. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. You know, the easiest way to fund this kind of game is, is told to these people who want location data. Mm -hmm. and, and you get a deal. It's better money than advertising money. Mm -hmm. It is. But we have taken this kind of stance that, do we want our data to be so visible somewhere? No, we don't. Uh -huh. And uh, so that's why we, we are like, uh, mm, how do you say that? We, we encrypt the data. And we we sort of we have a in-house algorithm that sort of messes it up, mm. so you necessarily don't know where you started, where you ended. So we are taking measures to provide this kind of thing that it, it's your privacy is important, mm. and that's the message we want to convey to everybody. Like, and and with the airplane mode, you know, it's like case okay, it uses GPS, but it's not mm -hmm. talking to anybody. You know, so. No one can rob your house while you're out. What's that? So no one can rob your house while you're out. No, that, that's up to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but if, the, if you're in airplane mode, then if somebody else is, is doing it in a different, you know, you don't know if you're running into somebody else's hood. You only have the information from the last time you downloaded yeah, well, it. Well, it's like, well, it, obviously you start the game and you still have connectivity. Hmm. And uh, our bots feed you, like, okay, this is your locality and this is where you stand. So, and then you can turn airplane and do whatever you want. So, there's that, that kind of an aspect. So. And so, you mentioned you have sponsors and, and you know, probably people supporting these projects. Like, what's in it for them if there's, I mean, what's your business model or? Uh, I think that there are a few avenues. I, the sponsorships are uh, a nice one. It's, uh, you know, it, it, it's like the brands, you know, um, I've talked to a few, like, are they called branding companies? They, they act as a broker behind, between the companies and the, the actual brands. And I got really good reception from them, because like, okay, this is, this is the kind of image, like, it, it's something fun, it's something social. Everybody wants it. So we are in process with, with there's, a, there's a Japanese partner who's talking to the Japanese side of things, so we're gonna split the, uh, the sponsorship, you know, mm -hmm. each each country regional. 
So like the demo you can get today only works in Kobe. Oh, okay. So you could get so there's there's a there's a lot of that. So but in 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 the end I, I think, you know, we just try to find a way that, that is satisfying with the players and which is still making money. So uh, yeah, it is it's one of I've been doing this for two years, so it's gonna come and come. <laughs> come. Yeah. Anybody else? So if you just walk in a straight line but you don't close the loop, nothing happens or No, no, that's the point. You have to go. I mean like you, you can accumulate like th there's the same stuff that sports tracker has, like okay, insert your height and weight and how many calories you burn, you know, that's mm. obviously you have to have it there. So you can you can use it as a, a activity tracker as well. And we got some other stuff to like if that becomes a big problem, because you know, we, we need a big number of people play this thing and their feedback. So we got a few ideas how to deal with it. So you could you could leave your run and continue at some other point. Mm -hmm. But um, but it, that's that's a lot of like gameplay mechanics and tweaking and and making it so that it's fair for everybody. So it, it's still exploring that kind of concept. So um, <clears throat> another question, right? Uh, Japanese market. Um, do you think of Integrating in a way that you know picture sharing. Mm. Japanese usually take pictures wherever they go. Yeah, <laughs> that's what everybody does. You know, the uh, you know, that that's you know that's that's the advertising part, isn't it? You know, you take a picture, yeah. it gets shared, and uh, you know the mm. people know like, oh, this is this is an image from a hood or a session. You know, that, that's obviously what you have to do. But then again, if somebody doesn't want to do it, you know, it's but, like, okay. but do you do that or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we, and then you choose, just choose like, like, who are you in bed with? I mean, like, do you want to use your Google account or Facebook account mm -hmm. or go completely anonymous? Mm -hmm. So, the, so the photos aren't hosted on your site, they're hosted with whatever social media yeah, they think, want to Yeah, I think that's a good idea to let people to use whichever media they want. Mm -hmm. because their friends will be probably using the same mm -hmm. and, and they can use the tools that they're, they're comfortable with already so you know I, I, maybe after the uh, Facebook acquisition you know they're going to infer something that we want to keep it open so people can use whatever they want and enjoy the game and you know they have their freedom of like, here's this thing and control this thing and so of course, you know, at some point we'll have an API. So like, if you want to do your own stuff on top of food, or just do it. So that, that's still ways ahead. Mm -hmm. that, that kind of thing, you know. Test the game. You know, if you got an Android phone, uh, trust my unsigned app. <laughs> I'm not doing anything evil, and uh, you can enter a fake email address to it. So you know. Like, and then you know, go for a run, see what happens. Take a friend with you. I, I think it's it's interesting, and uh, it takes courage to turn your mobile phone off. Mm. You know, Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was on a hood honor session, darling, and uh, you know I have to be on airplane mode. Yeah, how is far? It's funny like, how tied up we are with the phones and the notifications. <laughs> so it, it, it's sort of a, a thing like, you know, you have to dare a little bit to go airplane mode. Mm. Yep. It's not a choice for the user or...? That's a choice for the user. Right. It, it's like whichever way you want to do it. So if you, if you know, but if you are like a pinhead guy <laughs> who browses web on Tor, <laughs> stuff like that, so obviously you're going to be blah 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 dot blah blah dot com and then you gotta do the airplane mode stuff. You know. So we also want to accommodate to the people who feel like we are losing our privacy on the internet. And that's a very very uh, important point for us. Right. So that if you're hapless and you know okay, here's my Facebook credentials. Here we go. <laughs> so you know, that's alright too. It's down to the individual choice. How how does your game compare to, say, geocaching or 
Google's ingress? Um, geocaching, mm. it's, I think it's a separate activity, you know, of course, I could do could that. Could they go hand in hand, maybe? Or? Uh, yeah, you could, you can do that. That's where the API comes in, like, people can do whatever they want. I mean, like, we have one, one thing that sits on top of, that's a, that's a live-action role-playing adventure. So, you know, where, I don't know if you've seen a, a movie called The Game, it's Michael Douglas is thrown somewhere, and it's about that. We are, we are sort of thinking of live action role playing, something that takes you out from the ordinary, and you, and you, you meet strangers while playing the same game. And that's a big mindfuck. If you ever play live action role playing games, you know, they, they get into it. So, so that's the, the plugin we are developing that, that for the release, you know, it, it's the basic gameplay and make the social elements work. So that's, that's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. All right, last question. Last question. Thank yep. you. Oh. <laughs> I, I have been playing this game uh, without ever downloading it uh, with my son. <laughs> okay. And uh, I have a slight modification that might be interesting. Okay, oh, yeah, really. Uh, my modification is I put my son on my shoulder mm -hmm. and I walk out in the street and I ask him which direction I should go. Yeah. He's two years old, he has no idea what directions <laughs> so, are. Because he's like. Mm. You know, bob his head, and yeah. then you take it yeah. to yeah, yeah. Uh, At every corner I ask him, like, where to go? And yeah. it would be cool if the, the app says, like, no, go left. Yeah, I, I think... Uh, <laughs> we, we, thought about, we, thought away. We, we thought about that. But create a little character that's some, you know, silly yeah. monkey or something. that you Ask the monkey which way to go or something. <laughs> <laughs> ask the monkey. Yeah, but the point is, like, okay, if people are going to play this game like this and they're going to walk, Okay, that's a lawsuit right there. You know, somebody's gonna run under a car. <laughs> so we designed this game so like you first play, put it in your pocket, and and just go. Yeah. So uh, my my thing was just like left, right, and mm. so. Yeah, yeah. I think here's left, right. Which way? Left, right. That that'd be really easy to yeah. do, and I think we like to experiment with something like that. Like a like so. a pattern of vibration in your pockets. So yeah. You <laughs> Yeah, that, that stuff is patented by this Californian company. I'm great mates with them, and I think we could do it. You know. Patent. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, okay, so, so yeah, there's all these, all, all kinds of things you can do because the platform is so open. So, and I think, you know, as we get the release out and get people to participate, and many ideas will come, you know, we can do something that uh, people can enjoy in the best way. Who donor the stuff?